Libra. Welcome to your July 2015 Taroscope. This is um, Gwendolyn from Readings by Gwendolyn, and um, I just want to say thank you to all those who've been booking readings with me and downloading the Tarot and Numerology Workshop. It's been really fun to do those readings for you. And if you're ever interested in booking a personal reading of your own, you can do that at readingsbygwendolyn.com. I'll put a link below or at the end of the Taroscope here if you'd like to book your own reading. But this is the July 2015 reading for Libra. So let's see what the cards... I'm going to give them a couple more shuffles. I feel like it needs a little bit more. Okay, that seems good. Okay, so for 2015, for July, for Libra, what have we got? Ooh, interesting. Okay, so... I'm going to say, I'm going to start with, um, this card here is five of coins. It normally, um, means poverty mentality or feeling at a loss for something or feeling left out in the cold. This man is, uh, representing someone who's been injured or is a beggar or is in poverty and, um, is just feeling great loss. One of the lessons of this card is that there's always um, spiritual life that's available to us, even though on a physical plane we may be suffering loss um, or feeling unworthiness or that we don't have anything or that things aren't available to us. It's also, this is the devil card, and in both of these cards I'm noticing there's this star energy. Um, so you may have felt like a fall from grace you may have felt like you used to be the star in some way or another. This is towards the beginning of the month. Um, there's some way that a star has fallen, is what these two cards are telling me. Um, you're feeling destitute, left out in the cold. And this, this devil card usually means that we're surrendering. Both of these cards really mean that th we're placing too much emphasis on the physical world and material side of things rather than the spiritual side of things. The devil card can mean bondage to our passions, to other people, to addictions. It basically is a card of being stuck and um, believing in the material world more than the spiritual world. And this five of coins echoes that. So if there's a way that your star has fallen, if you've just suffered a a major financial loss, or if you um, have lost some sort of material possession or your status, this is definitely telling me that your perceived status has fallen or that you didn't get to be where you wanted to be. Something's going on there in terms of loss. Um, and my recommendation to you, or what these cards are telling me, is that, that somehow the uh, focus on the material plane is too strong right now. You're being, someone's being too materialistic um, and they need to focus more on the spiritual side of things in order to get freedom from this stuckness, from this unworthiness, from this material um, preoccupation. And it tells me that there's a bit of some competition going on um, and there's a queen of rods involved. Now whether this is you, Libra, or this is someone else. Queen of Rods is very confident, very attractive, very bold, speaks her mind, and five of, of wands or clubs can represent either competition or playfulness. Um, it either represents fighting or playing. So it can be lighthearted, that, like it could be a bunch of kids just playing a game, or it can be, it's got a lot of Mars, Aries energy to it. Um, so it can mean warfare. So there may be some competition that's going on with this Queen of Rods character that is is causing you to feel this loss or this um, deprivation um, or loss of status. If, if there's someone new who came into your workplace or someone new who's entered the scene or someone that's even well-established there, Queen of Rods usually has some sort of authority. 
there's some sort of conflict or challenge that's going on with her. And I don't know if that's you. This could be inner conflict. Um, you know, if that's if that's representing you, if you identify with Queen of Rods, um, witty, is able to come back with a quick reply, um, confident, you know, innovative, uh, does things in her own way, courageous and bold. You either may be fighting with yourself with this internal struggle, or you may be having direct open conflict with with someone who represents us, someone in an authority, someone who's kind of on top right now. Um, so I guess with that, see if you could, by focusing less on the material and like, you know, not wondering about, oh, does she make more money than me? Does she have more status than me? Um, or do I have enough status for myself, or this isn't where I saw myself being at this situation. See if you can let that go and focus more on the spiritual side of things, or look at it as playful or fun, like, it's all a game. Um, if you can look at it as a game instead of open conflict, that's an opportunity of this card. Um, in the middle of the month, you have um, the ten... Sorry, the six of, of wands in reverse. That's success and triumph when it's in the upright position. But because it's in reverse, it's saying there may be a little bit of a setback. Um, six, six of wands, you know, it's funny. This Part of this card is riding high on your horse. And when he's in reverse, it's like he's fallen off of his horse. And there's something that echoes this five of coins and this devil card where there's like been a fall from grace or a fall off that high horse. Some sort of, um, someone's fallen off, fallen from their position of status or authority or triumph or success. I don't even know if this means loss of a job. Sometimes um, five of coins can, because coins are financial, this can mean financial loss, so that can be related to a job. Um... And Empress in reverse, normally she she um, represents abundance and vitality and, you know, everything's available to you. She's very full. Because she's in reverse, um, it may mean that you're feeling this, whatever's going on here, you're feeling like less than or feeling like not as much as it is as available to you as it has been before. Um, and... This moon in reverse is telling me that you need to trust the inner feelings that are coming up for you. There's some there's some stuff coming up for, from your subconscious. That's what this crab or this lobster coming up from the water represents. Um, moon often represents illusions or things that come up from the subconscious that are trying to work themselves out between the wild side of us, the wolf, and the domestic side of us, the dog. So like the dog is more willing to be obedient and follow laws and just be more calm and stable. And the wolf is wild and, um, you know, just unpredictable. So what moon means is balancing those two things. When you have feelings come up from the subconscious, letting them out, but you're having a hard time doing that or they're not, something is coming up for you that you're not willing to address is what moon is telling me. You're not willing to, you kind of, it kind of almost speaks to this internal battle. Um, you know, with this five of clubs. And what it's saying to me is this four of swords is saying, you know, take some time out. Have some peace. Four of, of swords is the soldier who's taking a nap and a rest um, before he prepares to go back into battle. So four of swords says, you know just just put just shelve it for a while <laughs> or see if you can be at peace for a while um and let this stuff bubble up because you're not really something's blocking it from coming up you're, you're actually like fighting this internal battle where you're not letting things come up that want to come up and surface which is actually you know it's it's healthy to allow those things to come up um and because both of these are night cards and this is a day card. What's happening during the day, you may need to just spend time like in a peaceful, sort of away from the rest of the world, working this out on your own. Not, You won't be able to necessarily have dialogue about it. This is very internal, internal uh, struggle or solution. So 
strength, strength being there tells me that you have strength at your disposal. Strength is going to get you through this. And, and I'm reading this as quiet strength. So by, by performing an open battle with whoever this figure is or, or dealing with this situation out, outside, you're really not going to have success with that. It's going to it's going to be more of this horse falling off falling off the horse energy. But if you can have the quiet inner strength to endure this, um sorry, I'm holding the card over there. Um quiet inner strength will get you through it. This strength card is a lot about patience, endurance, doing things in a soft way. She is very different from say this person. What these two cards have in common is they're both very strong. However, Queen of Rods does things in a brash, um, overt, bold, fiery way. And Strength, who is actually the stronger card, she's the major arcana card, does things in a more gentle, um, subdued, patient, enduring kind of way. That's why she is... Act they, they both represent fire. The Lion represents fire and Queen of Rods represents fire. But you can see that strength tames fire through sheer will of endurance and calmness and patience. True strength. Not, not forcefully pushing things through, but holding, holding fast and, and having patience, endurance, and calmness. That's, that's true strength. So really, what this card is telling me is if you can um, hold through it, you have a lot of strength available to you. In the last part of the month... We have uh, Knight of Rods in reverse, Wheel of Fortune, this uh, Four of Swords, and then the Three of Coins. So, Knight of Rods in reverse. Knight of Rods always wants... He's very courageous and bold, and in the rider weight, he's, um, you know, he's riding on a horse that that is rearing up on its um, hind legs, and he's going... He's basically full charge ahead. And if there's someone who's like that, if that's you, or if that's someone else, things are going to change for that person. This Wheel of Fortune is coming up where um, Wheel of Fortune says change is inevitable. So what was high is going to be low. What was up is going to be down. What was down is going to be up. So things are, tables are turning. Um, and if you know someone or have, if this reflects you, someone who's been like very gung-ho, very trying things out, you know, maybe him being in reverse says, even though this person's been enthusiastic and going for things, things really haven't been going their way. Uh, they're in reverse. That's going to change. Um, Wheel of Fortune in reverse means it may not change as quickly as you'd like it to, but tables are turning slowly. So something's changing. Either if you've been trying to be gung-ho about something or someone else has been, things are going to change for this person. Uh, whether it's that things are going to go their way or that they're going to be um, turned out of this system or if they were down, they're going to be up. Things things are changing for this person who is full of energy and vitality and vigor and boldness and, like, the person who's just, like, going full steam ahead. Um, this Four of Swords, uh, like I said before, it's it may mean take time out of a internal battle that you've been fighting, or even with this person, if there's been, um, if you identify with this, maybe it's saying like chill out for a little bit. This person is fiery, full steam ahead, maybe in conflict with this person. Um, just take a time out is what Four of Swords is saying. You'll be able to do that by the end of the month, um, and then what is is also showing us this Three of Coins. This often favors collaborative projects, group projects. This could be work. Um, because it's in reverse, it's saying, you know, there there may be an event or group project that you've been trying to work on that's been stalled, um, or it's just not coming about as quickly as you'd like it to. You may want to just hang in there. Um, because this is three energy, it's, it's having to do with, um, you know, social events, more than one person. Usually in this card it represents the architect, the builder, and um, the person who's actually going to use the building. So it, it definitely speaks to collaborative efforts. So even if there's a project 
what, for some reason, what I'm getting from this is that if you or someone else has been really gung-ho, like championing a project, building something, or creating something, and it's just not happening right now, all these are in reverse, take some time out, and uh, it will likely have better um, results if you can just, like, shelve it for a while, or if you can take time out. And this is just strength, and Four of Swords really is just telling me, like, just have some endurance, uh, have some patience with the situation, and just let things kind of, um, let things kind of roll for right now, because this Wheel of Fortune will take care of changing things. It seems really passionate and volatile, like, warfare in this first week, and this feels like, you know, enduring the loss or enduring the, the challenges that came up for you during this and then this just seems like you know keep plugging away um at whatever project this is especially if it's a collaborative project but maybe just take a time out on it too like you can still you don't have to do things in a forefront pushy um fiery kind of way if you can kind of just chill out and back off you can still work on the project, but just maybe in a little bit of a more subdued, less charged way, and things will turn around. So that's my reading for you for July for 2015 Libra. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, um, feel free to visit my website, Readings by Gwendolyn, and you can book a personal reading there or uh, look up any of the cards that you might like. All right. Thanks, Libra.